one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. I grew up um, while the Apollo program was going on, and, and really everybody in the country was watching that. But at that time, there were no women astronauts, and so you know nobody ever went around asking, "Do you want to be an astronaut when you grow up?" They did, they just didn't ask girls that, and it never occurred to me that was something I could I could go do. That thin blue line, Earth's atmosphere clearly defined. It's the only thing keeping us intact, keeping us alive. My first time in space was April 8th. 1993, on board the Discovery, the vastness, the wonder, the thrill in me. I was the first, the Latin woman's thirst. All I ever wanted was to get to work, to learn and to grow, far beyond what we know, far beyond. The sun's energy, what a marvel to witness the experiments we were in charge of. With the right group of minds put together, what could this be the start of? Five, four, three, two, one, go! November 94, I was stronger than before. I'd learned over time to deploy and retrieve satellites with a robotic arm. And as crazy as it seems, my little kid dreams had nothing to do with this place. Space! May 99, four times of supplies. I rallied my guys and we delivered the goods for the first crew to live on board the ISS. Our greatest success yet. I was the first.
we were studying the atmosphere. And so we actually needed to be up on the flight deck looking out the window every time there was a sunrise or a sunset, which was every 45 minutes. <laughs> and, and so you'd see this uh, very thin uh, blue line, very thin blue line. We'll hear more about that. And it really made me realize uh, just how fragile life is here on earth because yeah. that is what is keeping us alive. It's what is allowing us to uh, you know, thrive here on earth. Is it true that you actually grow taller in space? It, it is true because, um, again, because you're, you don't have the uh, force of gravity in one direction, your, your spine, it turns out, stretches out just a little bit. So most people grow, may, you know, maybe an inch or so, some have maybe as much as two inches. Uh, but I will tell you that as soon as you get back on the ground, <laughs> it doesn't stay. <laughs> you shrink back up again. Well, I think one of the things that people have now that maybe they didn't as much when I was growing up is there is a lot more um, written about, uh, so role models, people who have come before you. And, and I know how important that was to me. Um, before I saw Sally Ride in space, you know, I don't think it ever occurred to me that this was something that I could do, become an astronaut as well. And of course, uh, most of the time I was growing up, women were prohibited from being astronauts. And there weren't any minority astronauts as well. 